Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is the site where this belongs. Please go over there and uh, sign up for the social media. No, the mailing list. Do all that stuff. Follow it, whatever the case may be. Uh, follow the mailing list. Find out stuff going on, including our webinar, our lunch and learn. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, we're having next week where I'm going to help you guys get into uh, podcast, uh, audio podcast, and get damn serious about getting that podcast and everything you need to know and consider when you're getting that podcast started up. Uh, but go check that out. Sorgatron.com for information and the tweets and the event brights and all that kind of stuff. Also look up the Sorgatron media meetup group also has links for those as well. So uh, I want to talk about YouTube red today. So everybody's all up in the arms. What does this mean? What does this mean for my content? Well, first of all, I can tell you right now, Rootube, 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 YouTube Red, um, YouTube Red doesn't mean much for me in my shows. Uh, not this show. I mean, honestly, I, I do have this on YouTube. Maybe you're watching this on YouTube. Probably not many of you, uh, but it's not really big on YouTube. And uh, and I know the numbers aren't there. And really, I don't have a. I, I'm not making a significant amount off of YouTube views. I'm not getting nearly enough on the YouTube. It, it helps. It adds to the bottom line of how our numbers do. But uh, it's not the be-all, end-all that people uh, check out the stuff that I do. Uh, so I'm not concerned I, about what that number is going to be. Um, and what, let me back that up a little bit because I'm kind of uh, talking ahead on a conversation that's already happening in my head. But uh, when, uh, So if you're a YouTube producer, one, you're probably doing well if you're concerned about this and doing way better than you're listening to my podcast. Uh, but uh, if you're a YouTube producer, a lot of guys like your PewDiePies and everything, right? I know he's he's kind of the go-to for this one, isn't it? Uh, but he's making millions of dollars out there off of the advertising and the clicks and the rates and, and, and whatever they set up. CPMs, cost per million, cost per thousand. I don't understand it. It's not real math in my head uh, for whatever reason. Uh, they're concerned with now all that advertising, all those views, all that advertising is now going to be potentially supplemented You'll get a portion of this when you go and pay $9.99 a month to get your YouTube Red, which, by the way, you also get that if you're already a subscriber to Google Music, as well as the YouTube Music Key, I believe. I believe all that is one package, basically, now, which is a very compelling, uh, by the way, a very compelling package uh, that that I would probably consider here in the, in, in the, in the near future. But... Uh, so now you're what you would instead get from ads because there's no ads. If you have YouTube red, you will now get from a portion of that nine 99 that uh, hopefully a lot of people will be paying here. The biggest things that you're going to see, you know, those people are concerned about that. What's that going to do their bottom line? And I said on here and other places, I really hope you're not depending on YouTube for your, um, for your income for a sole income, for a main major income, because they could change something and that could go away. And this is one of those things where that could happen, but I don't think the impact's going to be as big as you think. Again, I don't understand advertising math, or I'd probably be doing a lot better at this to begin with. Um, what will happen, and I've gotten one of these letters, so hopefully you agreed to something if you're trying to do monetization, and let's just call it an experiment, I made five bucks last month. Look at me uh, for getting 15,000 people to look at a video, right? Whatever the case may be. Uh, but if you know, you've done that, you've agreed to something or turned off monetization. So your videos, I believe today when this launches, this video launches uh, is when YouTube Red goes. Uh, and if you didn't agree to the new terms of service, and most of us don't read them, we hit agree anyways, to be quite honest, your videos will go private. So you might want to double check on your videos and see what's happening there. If you don't have monetization on your videos, you probably don't have to worry about it. If you don't have monetization, but you have a piece of content in your video, this is the thing that surprised me. Because I got a notice about this in this past week on an old video, an old, old, old episode. What were you, we just did 493 tonight at the Wrestling Mayhem show. This was like episode 220. So this was like five years ago. Something in there. I don't know. I didn't investigate any further. Something in there has some music. I would guess. Uh, it's usually music when it comes to these things. And it has music and it was tagged and that's fine. And, and, and because there's that 
you know, 20 seconds of music, a whole song, whatever the heck we were doing back then, uh, that they're going to drop a monetization on that entire video, right? I can't monetize that video because I use somebody's stuff and for three minutes out of a two hour video that I put up there. I know they're pretty long. That's why my numbers aren't that great on YouTube. Um, What's well, made for YouTube? That's a whole other argument. Now, there, I think, was an additional block put on the video. There's an explanation that this is not a strike against my account for copyrights. Anything like that, that's fine. But now, I potentially have a video out there that can't be seen by anybody. And these things change all the time. People change rights, agreements, whatever the case may be. So you may have some videos, and you'll apparently get an email if this happens, that you had something in there, it was perfectly fine, it wasn't even a, it wasn't, somebody had a, a one of these where uh, they got one of these notices because there was, it was one of their kids' videos, and there was a radio on in the background, so they got one of these pull-downs. Oh. It's an automated system, it's unfortunate. But that seems to be the real damage being done here, at least a little bit to some of us just kind of using YouTube to whatever extent. I, I, you know, Somebody who's, to, who's trying to do something semi-professional, somebody doing something just, it's my kids' videos, guys. You know, really? You took this down? Really? It's been a good this whole time? Um, as for, and on the consumer side, I think it's a really good deal. It's not like uh, the uh, massive, oh man, it's so great to not have commercials on Hulu, by the way. Uh, that, that that upsell has been from seven ninety nine to I think we pay eleven ninety nine. I get to watch Comedy Central shows that I want to watch without commercials. It's kind of nice, guys. Um, but now you're gonna have that experience. I haven't been annoyed by commercials on YouTube per se. I also don't watch a ton, ton, ton of stuff on YouTube, and I think the stuff that I watch doesn't have ads because most of the stuff I watch, I think, is Patreon supported or selling something else they're not using youtube as a mechanism to make the money they're using youtube as a mechanism to sell another thing or be provided income another way and uh and i think i think and that's what i like to do uh in the long run uh but then you don't really have to worry about those roles so much uh, so again, I think this is a cautionary time if you're if you're if you're a content creator. See what happens. See, kind of read the tea leaves a little bit. Uh, uh, see what the vibe is with changes like this. Adjust your strategy. You probably don't need to too much, and proceed with uh, always with caution, especially when you're on somebody else's platform, as we talked about here in the recent weeks. Uh, because they can always change the rules, and you never know. But generally, don't fear the YouTube red. If anything else, it gives more attention. Hopefully more people find your videos. Maybe you get a bigger slice of the pie out of this one. You never know. Either way, it's their game. It's their sandbox. You just play with it. In it. With it. A little bit of both. Let me know what you think about the changes. YouTube Red, are you going to be paying for it? Do you happen to already be grandfathered in because you happen to have that Google Music account that's so darn cool? I like the, I really like the uh, I'm feeling lucky button, by the way. Let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com, basic Sorgonomics on the iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud? I think so. Um, and so many other places. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.